Long story short, I let my perfectionism get in the way of actually being able to submit this to the Jedhern Magic System contest because I took too long recording videos and didn't submit them in time. So I'm pretending to submit them. Peace. God touched is what happens when you are brought back from the brink of death by the deity in this world. Not only can you talk to spirits, but you can transport your whole physical self into the spirit world, go to a different location, and then come back, and it's like you've teleported there. So you're dying. This deity comes down, lays hands on you, and revives you. And that leaves this residue that connects you more closely to the spiritual world than someone who has not been God touched would be. And it kind of like lubes you up <laughs> and allows you to pass through the fabric between the worlds. And obviously, Land of the Dead, you can converse with past loved ones there whose you know ghosts like still linger. And any spirits and deities that live there, you know, creatures that live on this other side in this mirror world. And then as you progress and get better at, you know, the speed that you can jump between the worlds, you can harness that as like a teleportation device. Now, you're not actually dematerializing. You're not going like, boom, in a flash, rematerializing somewhere else and showing up. You are making the physical trip into the other world, and then you go to a different location, and then come back. So it's not an instantaneous thing. You still have to deal with the matter of time, but it does allow you to get out of a situation. For instance, like you're about to be punched, just go to the spirit world. You won't be punched because they're not there and you physically aren't in the land of the living anymore. So I feel like there's a lot of possibilities that could be really fun with this type of magic system. When this first shows up in my fantasy world, it is not like a, a set well-known system with, you know, hard and fast rules that everybody knows about. Um, people are not just dying and being brought back to life left and right. So my main character is revived as an infant and, you know, goes about her life. And when she gets to a certain age, scene pitch, she's climbing this cliff. She wants to get some dragon eggs out of this cave that they have made a nest in. And she's climbing up this cliffside. It's really high up. She slips. She falls, plummeting to what should be her death, but instead she goes and is lying there on her back like, the hell just happened? How am I not dead? So she gets up, she's a kid. She's like, damn, it's pretty cool here. What? And she explores. And you know, that's scene number one where she discovers that she has this ability. Scene number two where the spiritual communication aspect can come in. Um, a friend of hers passes away. He tries to swim under this boat and gets chop, chop, chop um, by some powerful propeller type deals and uh, is deceased. So she's there, everyone's sad, and she goes into the spirit world and meets him there and is able to pass his final apology to his mom. And the, there are a couple scenes that I picture where this magic system comes into use. <laughs>